The following is a 45 TV sports presentation. TV. Matchups already set for championship Saturday tomorrow here at the Girls State Basketball Tournament. One to go at the Double A Championship Combatants. Two semifinals tonight will decide who go. And last year, that Class 2A Championship had these exact same two teams, Providence Academy and Albany. A rematch this year, uh, one round earlier here, as one of them will head on to championship Saturday. Chris Long here with you on 45 TV. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Joined by Marissa Kate, Marissa Providence Academy. Uh, Madden Greenway is their star player. She came up as a seven grader burst onto the scene last year got her team all the way to the title game boy she'd love to get him back there again this year yeah i think so we were talking about how providence academy has probably been talking about this albany matchup their entire season i'm guessing they've had this one pegged for a long time and greenway along with grace counts maria counts all three hit a thousand points this year within about three weeks of each other on the other side here come the albany huskies the reigning double a champions they come in 24 and 5 this is a defense first basketball team it is and you're going to see a team effort out of the Albany Huskies. I'm really interested to see how they stop Madden Greenway tonight. Their leading scorer, Kylan Garage, 24 points, 13 rebounds in their quarterfinal win over Rochester Lord. You know that Albany is coming in with confidence. They won it last year, but Providence Academy, you bet they've been waiting that year to get this shot to get back. They have. We also were talking off camera. They had a pretty tough non-conference schedule. I think Coach um, Connor was getting them ready for the state tournament with some of those bigger schools. They went 5-3 and three against teams that are playing in the state tournament. All right, let's send it downstairs. We will meet the players with our public address announcer, Dave Giles. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We welcome you to Williams Arena and to the 2022 Minnesota State High School Girls Basketball Tournament. This Class 2A semifinal game features the Section 5 champion with a record of 27-4, and four, the Lions from Providence Academy. And the Section 6 champion with a record of 24-5, and five, the Huskies from Albany High School. Now let's meet the teams for this semifinal game. First, let's meet the visiting team, the Providence Academy Lions. Please welcome student manager, Mary Rillins Lee. Student manager, Emma Woolwind. Now let's meet the reserve players. Five foot five inch freshman guard, number two, Tony Jackson. Five foot eight inch junior guard, number five, Bridget Healy. Five foot eight inch freshman guard, number 10, Annabelle Warner. Five foot nine inch eighth grade forward, number 11, Shannon Healy. Five foot eight inch junior guard, number 12, Marie Hayda. Five foot five inch sophomore guard, number 14, Inga Nelson. Five foot four inch junior guard, number 15, Mary McGinty. Five foot six inch junior guard, number 22, Alyssa Condon. Five foot ten inch senior guard, number 23, Ellie Millerburned. Five foot eight inch senior guard, number 24, Eleanor Young. Five foot seven inch senior forward, number 25, Emma Boeing. Five foot eight inch junior guard, number 31, Kira Miller. And six foot two inch freshman forward, number 44, Hope Counts. Now let's meet the starting lineup for the Providence Academy Lions. At guard, a five foot five inch sophomore, number three, Brooke Honecker. At guard, a five foot eight inch seventh grader, number four, Emma Millerburn. At guard, a five foot seven inch eighth grader, number 30, Madden Greenway. 
At forward, a six foot one inch junior, number 41, Grace Counts. And at forward, a five foot 11 inch senior, number 42, Maria Counts. The Providence Academy assistant coaches are Mark Forbish and Daniel Makepeace. The head coach of the Providence Academy Lions is Connor Getz. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Section 5 champions, the Providence Academy Lions. Now let's meet the home team, the Albany Huskies. Please welcome student manager Ellie Beer. Student manager Jasmine Hernandez. Now let's meet the reserve players. Five foot four inch sophomore guard, number three, Savannah Pelzer. Five foot seven inch senior guard, number 11, Marissa Voigt. Five foot eight inch sophomore guard, number 13, Tatum Findlay. Five foot six inch junior guard, number 15, Sophia Schiffler. Five foot ten inch junior forward number twenty two Samantha Van Heel. Five foot six inch sophomore guard number twenty four Lauren Nett. Five foot sophomore guard number twenty five Callie Holthouse. Five foot four inch junior guard number thirty one Maggie Seiler. Five foot eight inch senior forward number thirty five Danica Findlay. Five foot five inch freshman guard number 41, Eva Schwensfire. Five foot four inch sophomore guard number 43, Aliyah Emdick. Five foot seven inch junior guard number 45, Carmen Eink. And five foot five inch senior center number 51, Alexis Zierden. Now let's meet the starting lineup for the Albany Huskies. At forward, a six foot two inch sophomore, number one, Alyssa Sand. At guard, a five foot seven inch senior, number five, Bailey Keski. At forward, a five foot ten inch sophomore, number 23, Kylan Gerrits. At guard, a five foot six inch senior, number 33, Joran Carlson. At center, a six foot senior, number 55, Maddie Harkinoff. The Huskies assistant coaches are Todd Kuhn and Paige Callahan. The head coach of the Albany Huskies is Aaron Boyum. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Section 6 champions, the Albany Huskies. The officials for this Class 2A semifinal game are Chris Mills, Barb Storsveen, and Will Florsheim. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, would you please rise? And remove your hats. Please join with the Providence Academy Band under the direction of Thomas Jones as they lead us in our national anthem.
evening session and a date for a state championship on the uh, ticket here for the tomorrow afternoon Leah, right here at Williams Arena great place to play it's been a fun venue most everybody we've talked to if not all have said they love playing over here at Williams yeah this is a great spot for great basketball and we have seen some great basketball today this is going to be a good one we've been talking about it at dinner just what a great game we think this is going to be both teams very aware of how the other team plays but most importantly just there's a lot of great athletes on the court for this one um, there's going to be a good tempo to this game both teams are going to try to clog up the paint providence academy is going to try to push with their pressure so lots of exciting stuff happening in this one how about the starting lineups here tonight well we got a great starting lineup on both sides of it so just get ready as i said lots of talented players on the court brought to you by education minnesota the voice for professional educators and students and we are off and a quick tip and albany's going to be the one that brings it right down as soon as they can try to go low post kick it out not going to take the three to start. Albany lines pretty good squad here. Finished with the five losses this year out of the Grand Ridge Conference is where they come on the miss. Providence Academy will set up under the direction of Connor Getz. And he's done a great job over there. And you'll watch a pretty young team go at it and you won't probably notice a lot of the ages. There's one senior in the starting squad and on that play a travel is called so. Ball go right back to the Huskies of Albany, coached by Aaron Boyum. He's a Concordia Moorhead Cobber. Nine years, 204 wins for him. And here's the full court pressure that Providence Academy is going to put on. Brooke Honaker, number three for Providence Academy. A great defender is going to be all over the place tonight. Also, he can hit big time shots. This is Garrett's with the ball now for Albany, but you can see exactly what Leah's talking about with a tight matchup on the defense. Garrett's. This is Keski for Albany. Kind of moving around the top. Figuring things out a little bit here. And they'll move it out for the three. A good looking form on that shot. Boy, that's 6 2 sophomore Alyssa Sand moving back to pop that three. That's a good looking shot. That's not going to be a player you're going to want to leave alone out there. Maria counts just a little bit late getting to the three point line. Honaker hands it off to Counts. Back over to Millerburn. And now the spin move and the shot is up and in. And then just Maria Counts doing what she does. Pretty yeah. consistent. So reliable. Maria Counts does so many things for this team. Let's check out the keys to the game, Leah. Well, for Providence, Maddie Greenway, you want to establish her right away. And you want to own the paint because you have the players to do it with. So that's the keys for Providence. And for Albany, lockdown defense. And utilize their length. They have some nice length. That's why I think we're going to see some interesting post play. Keys to the game brought to you by the greater Twin Cities Honda dealers. Proud sponsors of Minnesota Youth Basketball. Providence Academy and Albany here in the state semifinals in double A and across her dangerous pass and keeping her spot down there was Greenway with the steal and quickly up the court they go with it that shot is going to come out of the three point area and it is not going to go but a big rebound again by Grace counts and she'll drive and lay up that high layup and that won't go and board work down low by Kylan Garrett's. And now she will kind of set the offense. You gotta like it when you're six two. Yes. Center can bring that ball down like she does and then shoot outside at the same time. Yeah, Garrett is a special player, does a lot of work here for the Huskies. Garrett's 5'10. And uh, on the miss, ball knocked out of bounds, and it's gonna go off Albany. So right back to Providence Academy out of section five, number one seed in the tournament, by the way. Uh, I've watched this play this team play quite a few times this season Dave and they have won every game They play well as a team. I saw them beat Edina on a last-second shot by Brooke Honaker That's her right there Millerburn Honaker over to Greenway And now into the middle and that turnaround jump shot from the free throw line. It's a Pretty good shot there by Maria Counts. I mean, she gets a lot of height, so it's a hard one to block. And plus, she's got yep. a pretty good position. It's important because whoever dominates the paint in this one, I think, is going to be the winner. And right now, Providence has come out and done a nice job of getting points in the paint. The three on the way, just shy of the mark. Good board work by the Huskies. Free throw line, nothing there, so the shot is up. 
And the rebound again, Albany. And this time there will be a fall. Boy, the Huskies are uh, banging on the boards. Yeah, they're working down there. And they're going to work down low. And they're going to work to get the boards. So you can see that they've come ready to try and get second chance points in this one. And Providence is going to have to put a body on them, box them out. Matty Herkenhoff. Free throw line. And there we go. First free throw of the game. From Albany or either team. She had 22 in the win over Pequot Lakes. And your players to watch, Leo. Yeah, we talked about Maddie Greenway already, probably one of the most athletic players on the court. Players on the court just does a fantastic job. And Kylan Garrett's. Turnover. Ball will come back the other way. Players to watch brought to you by Lyuna. Build your future. Visit LyunaMinnesota.org. Jarrett is one of those players. Her coach says is, is so athletic, but is also one of the hardest workers on the team. Trying to go in the middle. And thought maybe there'd be a timeout called to try to give her a little pressure release there, but ends up traveling. So good defense causes that. Lions have been steady here. The start of this one. This is Greenaway. And she wants to drive, cut off, cross court, pass picked off. Nice hustle. Albany gonna go right to the hoop, try to lay it up. Counts just missed that block. And the Huskies again, and that one will go up and in. Yeah, you can feel the way that the Huskies have come out here. I mean, they're gonna outwork you on this court tonight, so you have to be ready at all times. Garrods with the bu bucket. On the miss. Albany. Doesn't take the pick, goes the other way. And on the dish, knocked out of bounds by the Lions. Albany coming out, hustling, working to get their points. All counts. Nice defensive play. And then a, a push. And this is a game you're hoping can have a nice flow to it because both of these teams can get up and down. They can set up their offenses. They play well in transition. If they get into a lot of ticky-tack fouls, that can really slow this one up. This is Greenway. She's guarded by Keski. Now they're moving over the right-hand side. Millerburn. Picked up by Joran Carlson. That long three is up. That's going to be shy. And here comes Albany. A pretty good ball handler here, uh, Keski. Yeah, she does have a nice handle. Carlson. Keski. Guarded by Millerburn. Backing it up again. Does not take that screen. Goes the other way and then dishes it. And right there to pick that off is Honaker. Yeah, she is solid on the defensive end of the court. Greenway will dish it back to Maria Counts inside to Grace. And that's going to roll up for him. That's a shot they'll take all night. Yeah, you want to hit that shot. That's that's a frustrating one for the Lions. It's a good look. It's the look they want, but you got to be able to finish on it. Well, look at Honaker come out on Keski. I mean, no breathing room out there. And the drive to the basket pretty much uninterrupted. It just can't hit it. So cold start for both teams. That shot is not going to go down. And one more time. Boy, Albany's doing some board work down there. <laughs> yes, they have been working really hard on the boards, giving themselves second chance opportunities. Counts driving on the dish, and the shot's no good. But again, trying to get the rebound. And that one's not going to go, but a foul will be called. This is one of those games that's going to be a physical game, and this is why you love having players like Grace Counts and Maria Counts, because they can battle with the best of them. That's uh, two fouls on Herkenhoff here pretty quick in the game. Grace Counts. Six one junior, 15 points a game in the thousand point club, as Leah talked about. 19 points in that quarterfinal win over Montevideo. Well, Montevideo had a nice squad. I sure did. So with the timeout, Albany with the early lead here as we start this class two way semifinal on 45 TV.
The tournaments on 45 TV are brought to you by St. Cloud Subaru. St. Cloud Subaru, it's you. Well, welcome back to Williams Arena. Good to have you here for the state two-way semifinals. And Lee, in this game, it's a little height down low on the, in the uh, in the low post. Is that going to make a difference? Yeah, I think this is going to be a fun one to watch. That who can really dominate the the paint because we know both teams have some length. And and Providence Academy comes in here with some really good post play with Grace Counts and Maria Counts. They have big players, but then don't think that the Huskies can't do their thing in the paint as well because. We're also seeing their players step up. And here's the other piece about playing in the paint. You don't have to be a big player. You just need to attack the paint. Quick passes. No look there, though. Defense covers up that three. But now they go the other side. And again, quick to get over there and shift. And we've seen Sands, their 6-2 center. She's hit a three earlier, and then she's been inside as well. Lions have switched up. You kind of see him moving in and out of man to man into the zone. Oh, good pick. This is counts. This is Grace. The spin move under the bucket. Hard to stop. Can't hit it though. And the rebound quickly hauled down by Garrett's and she'll bring it down for the Huskies. Oh boy, danger. So it saves it from an over and back. What a heads up play <laughs> yeah, that was. It was. Kesky with the athletic play. Yeah, you got to have the tools to make it, and then you got to be able to think it as you're doing it. A wide open under the basket. Oh my! Quickly down, Greenway from the lane, and that's not going to go. And on the rebound, hauled down. Boy, that's sand down there. Six-two sophomore Huskies passing in a hurry. Really good. Two good-looking squads here, and right now. Both unable to get untracked and again stolen. Man counts. Yeah, they defense. She's getting it done. That was Maria over to Greenway and she makes a move in and Madden's got her first bucket of the game. Yeah, that's a big deal for the Lions to get Greenway involved right away. She needs to be have a lot of touches in this game. Kesky. Kind of moving it around and Thought she saw an opening down the middle of that lane. Cut it off, goes the other way. Kesky, we go back over to the other side to Carlson. Let a little catch out on top. Kind of get organized here. Into the ball game is Danica Finley. It plays 35 down low, and the ball is stolen again. So a few turnovers happening. Greenways. Trying to go down with that and then kicks it back out for an open look for three and that one's going to be short. Providence Academy six steals in this game. That's a big deal because they're trying to turn their defense into offense. That's Greenway. She is effective down low. Maria counts with the turnover. I like the fact that she's pushing the pace, dribbling the ball and gets it then to her point guard to hand her the ball. You kind of a nice no-look pass by Counts, too. I mean, yeah. she just kind of kept going and made it last second. Yeah, very impressive. All right, so timeout kind of covering things here, talking about it. The Albany comes out of uh, Section 6 of the number 4 seed. We mentioned Providence Academy. The Lions are the number 1 seed in this tournament. Connor Getz, a Luther grad, is the head coach there, and Aaron Boyamon, as I mentioned, on the Concordia Moorhead. So Albany beats Rochester Lord, who I also thought had a really nice team, and they Beat him pretty soundly. 57 41 was the final. This is a team with four state titles, including last year. That's right. And then Providence, uh, Providence Academy had that win over a really good Mono video team. May have surprised somebody how good they were. There you go. Past champs just talking about that. There they are, the 2021 champs. Sox Center had that series of really good teams, too. Remember that? Oh, yeah. Rozo. Those Rozo teams as well. Oh, yeah, we had the sisters down there just. Got it. The, you know, the Barabbas sisters, they were so good. So tie up, ball knocked out of bounds. It'll go back to Albany. Good attack there by Greenway, the 5 7 8th grader. And then another 7th grader starting in the squad, too. Only one senior on this line starting team. Player down, they'll attack right underneath there. Can't get it. And counts again, man. She has been pushing Look that thing. That. Counts to counts, and it counts. Maria counts. Looks good out there tonight. Confidently pushing the ball up and down the court, giving 
some pace and momentum to Providence Academy. She's dishing assists like Magic Johnson down there. She's coming down, taking it at the low post. By the way, speaking of that, Grayson Maria's grandfather, Mel, played in the NBA for quite a while with Bill Russell and Will Chamberlain in that area. I don't know how many people remember the names. I do. That's awesome. But that is, uh, yeah. Big time. Yeah, great for pretty good ball player. Knocked out of bounds. Albany's basketball. They'll come down, look at some pressure. Will we see full court pressure the whole game from Providence? The only thing with Providence is they don't tend to go real deep in their bench. They usually go around six, so let's see how tired out they get in this. But they will press you as much as they can. Tie ball game here at Williams Arena. Inside the lane, unselfishly giving it up. And taking the shot and making it is Garrett. She's got four in a game for Albany. Yeah, she's getting herself involved, which is important. She had 13 rebounds in the quarterfinals. That was critical to that win. Greenway backs it out. Then she gives it off to Honaker. Honaker's going to shoot it right in the middle. And Council put it up. That won't go. Rebound hauled down nicely by Albany on the miss. I would like to see them get the ball to Counts a little bit closer to the basket. Just let her get a little bit more comfortable in there. She can face the basket. To get her some easy shots. Trying to get something happen, go in the middle and then dishing the ball off. Okay, Keski's pretty impressive. Out on top there, the way she handles that basketball. What about that? Trying to get the big matchup down low. They do, and then Sands grabs the block shot. They call possession arrow. That'll go back to Providence Academy. That's a nice job. Sam getting involved there. The block. There's arms up everywhere trying to block that shot, tie it up. Greenway, great first step. He's got that quick speed. And down on the baseline, count shot. That won't go. A little bit cold right now for the Lions, and Albany is giving him one shot, and that's it. Bailey Keske with the basketball. Trying to split the defense. A lot of hands in there. Gets the ball back, though. And now the three on the way, and that's not going to go. Rebound hauled down by Greenway. She's going to push it. She's got a two-on-one, -on -one, and she'll dish it unselfishly and gives it off to Honaker. Yeah, you love to see that in a big game. Greenway does what she has to do. This is how they're going to be successful is pushing the pace, but then she gives the ball up to her teammate, allows Honaker to get the two. Underneath the hook. Quickly down. Look at Providence push it. A three on one in the corner. Fadeaway jumper. That won't go. And rebound Albany. Boy. Yeah, they're doing a great job right now. The Huskies on the boards. They've got 15 rebounds in this one already. Kesky to the hoop. The runner. That won't go. And that'll go back to. Providence Academy. Yeah, they're pushing the pace right now. This is the youngins Greenway moving up and down the court. You love to see it, but who gets to finish it off? Her teammate, Brooke Honaker. It's unselfish basketball. Both teams have hit one three-pointer out of four attempts on both sides so far. But the shooting is not where either team expects it to be. 24% right now for Albany, 28% for, for Providence Academy. So a number of missed shots right now. Counts. Over to Greenway, trying to make something happen inside the dish. Nothing there. Move it back to the left side. Wide open in the corner, three on the way, and that is up and in. And that is Holt counts now. That, yep, that's the third member of that sister trio, but the thing to keep, remember about this 6-2 player, she's a freshman. Yep, they keep it coming, and boy. They're all great players, and it looks like Hope is on her way. Time out on the court. 14 to 11. Lines with the early lead. It's Dr. Chuck Hill, so that means it's time for the fan cam. Brought to you by Xfinity Flesh. All right, let's take a look at fan cam here tonight at Williams Arena. There's the uh, lion. 
Sports. You just have a sign that says sports. I like it. <laughs> That's, that covers everything. <laughs> Providence Academy. Got those reflectors going. Got it. Well, this game has the potential to get this crowd raucous in I the second so. half. I hope, I hope yeah. it just continues both, to be fun. Both teams playing really well to get rolling here. Greenway down to Maria Counts. Maria is the senior, the lone senior starter on this team. That is her younger sister, Hope. And that is Grace. So all three in the game right now. Can't hang on to the ball. Good defense by Greenway. Almost got the turnover, forcing that move out there. And with the basketball is Tatum Findlay. To Keski. Now they're moving around a little bit. This is Carlson. Guarded tightly by Honaker. Try that right side. And this defense, it looks like they're just having Honaker move around. It calls it a 1 2 2. Setting traps in the corners. Sands will chase it. She was open down there momentarily. And now, oh, stepped out of bounds. Maria Counts has caught the foot on the end line. Coming back into the game, a little wrestler, Garrett's 5'10 sophomore for Albany. And taking a break will be Maddie Herkenoff. Now the Huskies try and get it inside. Sand comes down low. They're going to have to go back out to the top, though, and that's where Kylan is. They'll bring it back out. Take a look over to the bench at their coach, Coach Boyum, just to see what the call is. Carlson has it. Waits for Keski to come back out to the top, and then she will take it back down to that right side. Try to set something up from the angle there. Nothing there. If they can find the gaps here. Have to keep moving around with this defense is so set. How about that line defense? There it is. Man, this is Grace counts. Loses the dribble. Yeah, it'd be nice to see if the Huskies, they're going to set it right back up in the half court. I'd like to see if they can get any early offense rather than sitting in this half court because that's what happens. Whoa. Well, he's going to have to Maddie grab Greenway anyway. almost went off to the edge here. That's the thing. And you played on this raise floor, Leah. Yeah, It'll be disconcerting the first time, probably. It sure can. Basket by Keski. Good game, one point difference down underneath that four minute mark right now in this double A semifinal game in the hands of the freshman Hope Counts and then to her sister. And they can't hit it there for Maria. Ball's knocked out of bounds, gonna go right back to Providence Academy. Get your local news at lunchtime. You can watch Leah McLean for Eyewitness News at noon weekdays on 45 TV. Scramble for the ball. Huskies end up, but they got a fast break. It's like a four on one. And keeping it and putting it up is Tatum Finley. See how easy that is when you get baskets in transition. High percentage shots. Give the Huskies some nice momentum. Greenway inside. Rebound. Sands. And she will dish it off, and Keski will take her time. Bring it up. Guarded by Honaker. The Honaker is going to be right on top of her. Keski sees an opening. Got it. Defense in the air, but it's got to kick it back out. Counts is just too tall. Now Garrett's trying to drive. Three, <laughs> the three Defense. sisters surround her, and they take the ball away. It's swarming. There comes Maria, addition back to Madden Greenway. Now try the corner. That's an open look for three. Not all going to go off the front. Batted around, picked up. Providence Academy has it. And in the middle. And back it out. Greenway inside the lane. That's a good look for her. And, and I love how the Providence is playing right now. I think they're playing very unselfish basketball, but I do think that they need to get Greenway a few more touches just to get, make sure their offense stays rolling. That, that shot put the lines ahead by one. Now Keski down the lane, hangs on the rim, oh, Sands wow. with the follow. It's a jump ball. That's going to go right back to Albany. Now, Albany's just working hard, pushing the pace, getting up and down the court.
15th state tournament trip for Albany. Up there at I-94. So backing it up and resetting that offense now. And counts has been terrific at taking the ball away down low. Garrett's blocked. No foul. It looked like Maria Counts got it, and there was a foul underneath. It's Slumberland's biggest finance sales of end of the year. Look what just $20 a month will get you when you spend $1,200 and pay no interest for five years. Only at Slumberland Furniture. Free throw line. Okay, here's Kylie Garrett, the 5'10 sophomore. Averaging 11 a game. She's got four here. She had six in the quarterfinals when they beat Pequot Lakes yesterday. Huskies have been really patient on the offensive end of the court. They're working the ball around and they're trying to make the cuts to find good shots. When they get good shots, it's usually down low and they're met by this Providence defense. But if it gets you on the free throw line, that's all right. No, they played Wednesday, didn't they? Yeah. Don't lose track of days down here. All the A teams started on Thursday. So Greenway will dish it back out. That's a high arching three. Did not go and out of bounds, probably off the Huskies. It is. So underneath their own basket now Providence Academy with a chance to go ahead again and a little seesaw of a action going up on the scoreboard here back and forth. And Greenway will inbound the ball quickly to the corner looking down low post they'll set up for Greenway on top rather they'll set that pick nothing there. And now a series of passes. That's a shot you want right there. That's Maria Count. She's got six, five, eleven senior. Yeah, you can tell the comfort level the Lions have with each other. They're just very patient. They work the ball around well, looking for their best shot. They just are playing real nice team basketball right now. On the switch on the screen, counts again, knocks it loose, but back out to the Huskies. Almost got that three off quickly covered up nicely too. I might add by Miller burned wouldn't let her get the three off So let's go low post Sands you get a battle for everything and that's blocked by counts. That's a wow. jump ball That's gonna go back to Providence Academy it's, it's amazing how difficult it is right now for the Huskies to get the ball inside in the paint what they're met with is defensive players two and three of them It's forcing them to either lose the ball or, or make bad shots Lines by a point and with the basketball. That's Maria Counts over to Madden Greenaway. Back to Counts. Clock at 37. Over to Millerburn. Play a little catch here. Work that clock down. 30 seconds. Now looking in the middle. Nothing there. Back out. Got the three lined up. Oh my, was that well done. Millerburn nails it. In the Millerburn, seventh grade. <laughs> Doesn't stop for Providence Academy. She's been an important part of this Providence team. She play guard, she can play forward. Seventh grade, that's 12 years old, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Yeah, that shot there, not going to go. Three seconds, two seconds, and hard to get it off right now, but they do, and it's too high. But man, seven lead changes wow. in this first half with a couple of ties, and the biggest lead we've seen is five points by either team. It's a big three-pointer. Seventh grader. First half. Two really nice teams to watch here. And boy, I can't wait for the second half to begin, but we got a lot more to come with Chris and Marissa joining in just a few minutes here on 45 TV on semifinal night from Williams Arena. The tournaments on 45 TV are brought to you by Tria Orthopedics. That's why you're treated and how you're treated by Tria. Rematch of last year's Double A championship game so far going the other way, but not by much. Maria Counts helping her Providence Academy Lions lead 21-17 here at halftime of the Double A semifinals as they take on the Albany Huskies. Chris Long back with Marissa Kate. Marissa, just your overall thoughts there on what we saw in the first half. It seemed like neither team really ever settled into their offensive flow, and I don't know if that's due to state tournament nerves or the defense that the other team was playing. Both teams are hopping in and out of a player-to-player -player in a zone 
defense, and I think they're having a hard time figuring out what to run on offense. Providence Academy, again, leading by four. Maria counts at six points and five rebounds, but they're sort of getting a little contribution from their entire team on both ends of the floor, offensively and defensively. They are. I think, you know, Madden Greenway started to get herself involved about halfway through that first half, and you could feel the energy kind of lift for the Providence Academy Lions. Albany, 26.1%, but they're not hesitant to shoot. Sometimes when it's not falling, you can kind of see the shoulder slump players more willing to pass. Albany still being aggressive offensively. They're getting great looks at the basket. They're getting close to the basket. They're just having a hard time finishing on some of their shots. And again, I don't know if it's nerves or the intense defense that Providence Academy is playing. Dave Lee mentioned seven lead changes so far. So buckle up as we look ahead to the second half. But before we move to the second half, we're going to have a little ice cream. Then we'll look at the highlights coming up after this. Back and forth, this one has gone. Albany had an early lead on Alyssa Sand, helping them get out in front early. Yeah, they looked comfortable right away, and then I think Providence tightened up their defense and their intensity, and then that's when Albany had a hard time making some of those easy shots. Kylan Garris leads them with six points, but I got to think the shooting percentage is going to come up in the second half. I think so, and if you're a coach at halftime, you're telling your kids to keep shooting the basketball. As for Providence Academy, you notice this, the way that they're taking an attack the Albany zone. You like it? Yeah, every 2-3 zone has gaps. You just have to find it. And Maria Counts has found that, that free throw line gap that tends to happen in 2-3 zone. She's done a nice job finishing on those shots. Madden Greenway, she's an 8th grader, averages 24 points. Held in check so far, but still showing what she can do in the offensive end. Great patience there, and then you'll see the shot she's got here, too. And she's done a nice job, too, distributing the basketball to her teammates, which you don't always see on the stat sheet. And the statistics are brought to you by Everlight Solar. Save money, save the planet, start with solar. Providence Academy leading by four here at halftime of the AA semifinal. Let's go to 1980 and let's go to the Met Center. This is so amazing to see this. This is back in the day at the Met Center. Basketball at its greatest. Women's basketball. We talk about Title IX, the 50th anniversary. And some of the great players that have played back in the day. Skalicki is a well-known name in girls basketball in this state. Kelly Skalicki, man. Yeah, that's his, his one of the forerunners and it's so cool to think that they started it all and then you see what we have here on the floor and tonight how great these players are now and because of all of the players who were on the court back in the day some cool footage thanks for showing that oh, that was great the Met Center there's memory maker all yeah. of America's there now remember they couldn't blow take down that building when they tried That's to right. destroy it underneath the Albany gonna attack right away Herkenhoff first field goal of the game four points and two free throws in that first half so now we got a two-point game and these two opponents kind of familiar with each other after last year Greenway shot partially blocked and now a chance to tie or take the lead for the Huskies of Albany representing section six Keski will dish it Garrett's kind of their leader in that first half quick pass Carlson got it down the left side quickly and then the cross court and there's Greenway right in her hand she'll get the turnover Matt will push it up looking nice pass down court back out on top she's going to pop that three and nail it and so with her first three she puts her team up by five and their, their defense is really working for him in this one turning into offense Is the, is the key quick passing against this defense or are they yeah you want to you want to be able to move this defense so you can tire them out a little bit you can find some spaces and if you don't move a lot and you're standing there dribbling and you kind of get yourself trapped in corners then it's a lot easier for the defense to double and triple team you what a nice pass over to sand that's that's it that's just being patient and confidence in your offense Turkenhoff getting that done Three-point edge for the Lions. Moving it around right now. And the pass underneath is that shot partially blocked, I believe. 
And here comes Albany, and then stolen by Counts. Man, she's just a thief out there. She's really good at anticipating where the ball is going. Fakes one way, and then, uh, oh, man, it looked like it was good. <laughs> so comes back up. I hate to miss those shots, those just easy baskets. Greenway trying to take the charge. What's the call? Fall will be on the Lions. Greenway's really starting to get into this one, doing a little bit of everything, getting the steals, moving the ball, setting her players up, and also hitting big shots. Kesky with the basketball for Albany now. Her team down by three points. Garrett's deep in the corner, moving back out to the left side, being very, very patient. Off of a screen, gets past a couple of players, runs in that, makes her not, gives her an opportunity to dish it off. Garrett's is standing alone. She saw her and she also drew a foul. So a chance to tie the game on this free throw. Yeah, that's just good basketball right there. You can tell this is a well-coached team. They know where they're going to be. They're reading the defense and they're slipping into the spaces, the gaps in the defense that allows them to score. Kylan Garrett's sophomore, 5'10", and that is too hard. Who's going to get the rebound? Boy, that's not suddenly bouncing back and forth. And here comes Counts. T gives that little fake to the right side and goes up with it. But Herkenhoff kept her ground and made the block. It's out of bounds. It's going to be back to the Providence Academy lines. Beat Holy Family in their sectional, and they scored 95 points doing it. Wow. The Holy Family put up 81, if I remember right. Good fake. Greenway will move it back, and the three is on the way. And boy, that's going to be a key shot. She starts finding her spot with those. That's a four-point lead again, and a timeout called as the Lions and the Huskies will talk things over here in the second half of the state class double-A semifinal game. You can really see here in the second half as Greenway really starts to heat up. A pass from Honaker. She gets right where she wants to get situated. Greenway and hits it. And look at the bench. <laughs> <laughs> the old, uh, the old three celebration. We've seen a few of those today. That's a nice looking shot on the three pointer right there. Uh, the Providence Academy line liking it. Kind of keeps that same expression all the time. I can't believe how calm that line is. Just never changes expressions. Don't see any motion out of them. Look inside the Husky huddle right now. This coach Boyan gives his players some instruction. Pretty good game, four point difference. That's what it was at halftime as well. And I think, you know, in, in talking to Coach Boyan before the game, one of the things he mentioned was not turning the ball over and knowing that there was going to be a lot of pressure from the defense. Um, and his team's turned the ball over 12 times. I think if they can just slow that down a little bit, they've showed that their offense can find the gaps and how to score. So we got the full court pressure happening. Keski. Guarded by Honaker. Nice little matchup off of the screen. A little space by running her into a screen and then goes full court on it. Keski drives all the way in the lane, draws the foul, goes to the free throw line. Bailey Keski, she's kind of the motor on this engine. Yeah, and that's this is this is good basketball. Look at the handle here. It's Moniker gets hung up on that screen and splits the defense to get in there and then gets herself to the free throw line. So you know you the question is can you get the Lions in a little bit of foul trouble? Keski and she's gonna get it. She did nine yesterday in the quarters, and that's where she is right now already here, early in the second half. Trying to cut the gap to two here. A ton of time left in this one. One more time, perfect. Two point game now. Greenway will bring it up on that left hand side this time. Gets the pick over there. And it takes it a little closer. Nice dish, counts, and she'll kick it out. There's a good look for three on the other side. Looks like an old counts right to her underneath. They can't hit the shot. One more time, kick it out. Greenway for three. And she <laughs> comes through again. That's three in a row for Madden. They take the three tries to get the shot, but it's worth it if you can get a big three-pointer from Greenway. Sand. 
6-2, and she handles it pretty well. Counts comes out on her. It's a good matchup to watch. You see how when you make a big shot like that, how it ignites your defense on the other end. And so you're seeing Albany right now really have to work for it. Sand fighting to keep the ball. Boy, Counts just takes it away. Doing her favorite thing, stealing the ball and then pushing it down court. Yeah, Maria Counts, the total package, isn't she? Yes, she's doing everything tonight. And there's Grace. And she... Maria Counts has four steals. Grace has four steals. <laughs> And now the bucket by Grace. Seven point lead. Providence Academy lines. Back and forth in this one. Keski. And now she'll be fouled maybe a little too. No, a timeout. I thought they were going to call a little body action. They called a timeout ahead of that. For Albany, they called the timeout. So a 8 2 Providence Academy run right now, Leah. Yeah, Providence is doing some real special stuff out there. They're sharing the ball and they're getting things done from the three-point line, which has been big, thanks to Greenway. Look at this little move. Boy. Nice little hook in the paint. I'm guessing the grandpa shot one of those now and then. A couple of those. All right, there you go. Good look. That's our next game, too. Fergus Falls Mini Haw Academy. I, I think a lot of wow. people that watched Fergus Falls yesterday were going, wow, they're pretty good on Wednesday, rather. I'm looking forward to that Fergus Falls Mini Haw Academy game. That's going to be kind of a high flying game as well. Man, let's see who we have here in the 1A and 2A. Well, we, we know why Marie, Maria Counts is on that list. She's been spectacular in this game. Natalie Robecki was spectacular yeah. in Minnesota's win. We'll get to see Sharita Lewis. That's right. That's right. And, and coming in. And Ellie Colbeck, too. I, is Ellie, I think, if I remember right, Ellie's probably going to South Dakota State. I'm going to have to double check that. And there is the Miss Basketball candidate. Yeah, Ellie is going to South Dakota State. Jack rabbit has got a good thing going on their yes, program right do. now. So the Huskies after the timeout chatting about what they're going to do. Let's see what the offense does here. Honaker, Kesky gets by her and on the runner. Uh oh, she is going to get it. She's going to draw a foul. Well, you might as well make it dramatic and hang that baby exactly. on the rim and wait till she falls in there and then the call comes. And this is what happens when you play aggressive defense. Sometimes you get caught behind and there's just a little push right here at the end. So a chance to turn that uh, field goal into a three-point play and make it a four-point game if she can. There's a look at Bailey. She is a senior, 5'7". Counts inbound. Madden Greenway will waste zero time taking it down, and the defense got down there in a hurry. They know that the lines like to run. Maria to Grace. Fake move, better position, and if she gets that shot down, I'm not sure how you stop it. Yeah, you're exactly right. And you know what? You can really tell that they have Marissa talked about them being able to find the gaps in the defense. They have certainly done that, Providence. Six point lead. And pretty consistent here in the second half. Sands tied up. Gets out of the count. Just again, lifts the ball. Greenway's got a one on one, and the shot won't go. Rebound now. They got a fast break for Albany if they can see it. They didn't have time to get that set up. Garrods was anxious to get the yes. ball down there. But it might have been an little by his path. Pass from the angle it was rebounded at. So here comes Kesky, and she'll take it in. A dish. Beautiful pass. Sand is ready for it. She nails that shot. There's some nice offensive flow right there from the Huskies. Greenway. Off the screen. The three and rebound Garrett's good position by both teams on these boards. Kesky. She's making things happen with that drive. Carlson. Bodies down. No whistles. And that is a power move there by Herkenhoff just went right on the glass. Nice shot. We're down to a two-point game again. Oh, goodness. We knew this was going to be a good one, Dave. 
And that three is off the back with a hustle for the basketball. Counts has it. And what's the call? Foul. Timeout. Got it. Oh, wow. That's a pretty heads up call. Timeout on the court. 11.36 to go. Good game going here at Williams Arena. Tournaments on 45 TV are brought to you by Nissan. For great offers on Nissan's most exciting lineup ever, shop NissanUSA.com. Two-point difference in this one, and Providence County with the lead. Let's go to Marissa. Marissa? You know, I think what you're seeing here, Albany is starting to move without the basketball really well on offense, and they're creating some shots for themselves. Providence is relying on their three-point shots, so look for them to get the basketball inside to both the Count sisters here. Yeah, I, that's a great point, Marissa, because I think w at the start of this game, you really saw the Count sisters. They're going to high-low, getting the ball right in the paint where they want it, right there. That's it. Marissa called it. Well, we just saw Grace Counts make that same shot just a little further away from the basket. And if it, like we said, if she gets that down, I just don't know how you stop the 6-1 junior. Uh, Sand does have a little bit of a height advantage, but... Then you got the other 6-1ers in there. Exactly. Let's see if... The Huskies can find the gaps again. They're going for the outside shot. We'll get that to get the rebound. Herkenhoff blocked. And a foul is called against the Lions. And they're calling it pretty tight. I thought that was pretty straight up defense, but I guess she does lean in a little bit. Maddie Herkenhoff, six points in this game, seven on average. And she's at the free throw line for the uh, second time tonight. She hit the first two that she had, and then. <laughs> oh, man. That was as, about as high as it can get. And when you're good, you're good. Yeah, Those things exactly. happen, right? Not that time. Three point game. Pushing it down in a hurry. The line's trying to get underneath. Greenway tied up and a jump ball call. That'll go back to Providence Academy. And, you know, that's some excellent defense right there by the Huskies. They're doing a great job of locking down. As Greenway's touching the ball, you got the double. Inbound pass. That's an open look for three. That's going to be too much. Rebound. Battle for it. Loose. Travel. Well, that is, uh, I mean, you get inside there, that's... It's a problem, yeah. yeah. It's difficult. That was a great rebound by Marissa Voigt, and then just double team. So the inbound pass, the counts. Maria back over to the baseline to Greenway, and now the scramble for it. We're going to have a possession arrow, and this one's going to go back to Albany. I think they both want to be in the state championship game here. This is so. plenty physical out here right now. Bailey Keski. So instrumental for the Huskies. we are seeing this trapping zone right now. For the Lions. Tatum Findlay has come in for Albany, and that's her driving picked off by the Lions. Madden Greenway from about 10. That's amazing when she feels confident out there. You can just tell how she shoots her shot, gets open, knows she's going to hit it. Yeah, that's almost an automatic, isn't it? Five-point lead. The lines, a little bit of a trip. Nothing going on. Back in the hands of the Huskies. Nothing hurt. Keski with that great bounce pass underneath. And Garrett's shot in traffic. She rebounds and puts it up and in. That was pretty good tenacity right there to keep going after it, and she did and got it. Yep, and that's where you just have to be physical and use your physicality to score when there are bodies on you. That'll be a foul on the Huskies. Look at the way they're pushing the pace and getting the ball down to Greenway. Just good hustle there, and then it's the battle down low. Gerards does a great job staying physical, finishing at the basket. 
At the free, at the uh, out of bounds line, it'll be popped in by the freshman. Hold counts. Inside, there's another foul. This will be two coming. That's going to be on a push. And that Albany foul will put again at the free throw line. Number 41, that's Grace Counts. She's been there, um, shot two free throws. And she's one of two. In the game right now, nine points. And the free throw is just a little too short. One more time. Thousand point score. So is her sister Maria. Maria's not too far from a thousand rebounds. Yeah, that's impressive. She could that get could in the happen. tournament. Yes. We will. We may about. witness that day. Got the second one. I think I hit her down for what, 10 to go or something when we came into this game. I'm not sure. But I know they will know for sure at Providence Academy. That's quite an accomplishment. 39-35 now. Lines with the lead. 9.27 to go. Ton of time still here in half number two. And that pass, just a little bit too much traffic down there. It sails out of bounds. They haven't, the second half, they've been a little cleaner with the passing. Yep, I agree. Greenway bringing it up. Maria Counts has played a whale of a game along with her sister is going to go down that double low post down on the right side and then look at the top of it. You got Hope Counts and that's knocked out of bounds. It's going to go right back to the Lions. Coached by Connor Getz. Let's see if Providence looks for some outside shooting here. As you can see, the Huskies are really trying to lock jam, jam it in the paint right now. Lock it down. Gonna go low post right away. Counts with that left hand runner too much. Good defense by Sando yep. at 6 2. Yep. She's a presence. And does what she's supposed to do. Kesky, she just can get so much to happen if she can get a little penetration into that lane. She's able to dish it or shoot it herself. Coming up on eight and a half minutes. And that ball's gonna go out of bounds off of Providence Academy. We look at Maria there coming into the ball game is Savannah Pelzer for uh, Albany there just kind of a miscommunication on the inbound pass and pushing it down quickly the lines Greenway she's left open and won't get a rebound oh boy that was hauled down by Garrett's beautifully yeah nice nice rebound important rebound for the Huskies now gracefully that could easily been a no you know had she bumped somebody but she didn't Coming up on eight minutes. Man. The Counts is doing so much for this team right now. Counts is going to shoot the three. Look at that. How about Maria? Just adding to the variety of things she's done out here tonight. With her six steals, ten points. Pelzer. Getting some movement down there. It does a nice job dishing it back and popping the three. It's Garrett's. Well, Garrett's is there. Whenever they get down a little bit, she's there to hit it. Yeah, That's she a good is pass. The, she is the player that can get them easy, quick points. Well, I guess none of them are coming easy, but she has the ability to score. Greenway with the drive fouled on the way in. To go the line ahead with a pair. Greenway working her way through the defense. Well, she came out and hit three threes here to start the second half. And that's her first free throw of the game. She had 19 yesterday. She's uh, another one of those thousand point scorers. She got there pretty quickly, too. She sure did. And so did another player who's in our next game from Minnehaha Academy. Addie Mack, as I recall, had to get to a thousand pretty quick. Greenway's only 5'7", but does a nice job of kind of weaving her way, kind of fearless as she gets into the paint. Yeah, and in eighth grade, too. I mean, that's... Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Moving the ball quickly, and oh. again, a clutch three. All Pelzer's done is come off the bench and get assists, and now a triple. It's a beautiful shot by the sophomore, Savannah Pelzer. Grace counts. Back to sister, over to Madden, back over to Maria. 
This is Grace, and she tries to follow up, but Albany is there, and boy, got a chance to cut the gap or possibly tie it on the fast break. Oh, my. Oh, you shoot. You hate to miss that layup because it's nice to get easy points in transition. You do, but you know you get a couple of six ones right on your heels. <laughs> it probably makes you think about it. And Grace counts now on the nice assist to get the bucket. A five-point lead. Boy, at halftime, it was a four-point lead, so... Pretty even second half here so far. Yep, and you're kind of feeling the pace of this game pick up on both ends of the court. Sand against counts. Let's kick it back out. See if anything's open on the baseline. Garrett's had just a strong game for the Huskies. She has played well in this tournament. Sand powering inside. She's going to get it. Oh. The sand. Really nice job. Three-point game. Ah, the crowd loving this energy in here right now. Greenaway, side of that free throw line. She makes it look so easy. Yeah, she's a nice-looking basketball player. There's no doubt about it. Right now, this Providence Academy team getting everything they wanted out of this Albany team. They knew it. They, they've seen them before, like last year. They know what they bring. And two really well-coached teams. Inside, oh, looking down on the baseline. Oh, she was open for a second. They get the ball back, though. Counts going for the steal, doesn't get it. Garrett back to the corner. Pelzer's done a, just a terrific job since she came in this game. Back out to Keski, and now she'll set it up. Yep, they have to reset it, which is fine. Take your time on the offense. Just keep moving that ball so you can move the defense. And oh, look at that. Honitor got her hand in there, almost got the steal. Sand strong enough to hang on to it. Push her out a little bit. You have to hope at this point that you're tiring down the defense. You move the ball around the perimeter that you'll find an open gap. Lion fans getting loud now. They like their defense. And that three just missed. Greenaway took that hard off the off the iron. That's always a tricky rebound. Just grabbed it with no problem. Dish to counts. Counts. Gets rid of it before it's stolen. Back down. Maria to Hulk for three. No, is it going to go? No, it will not. And again, Albany down there for the boards. A five-point game. Back and forth. And inside and falling down. Nothing there. Now, you got a bit of a fast break. It's a three-on-two. Nice bounce pass. Can't get the shot. Oh, the pace of this game right now is out of control. I would slow it down a little bit. There you go. Set your offense up. Try to get maybe something early behind the defense of Providence right now as they've pulled out a little bit. I think Danica Finley heard you, and she did that very thing. That's her right down the corner now. Elzer oh, almost got through, and it follows her shot. Then it's blocked, but now foul will be called. That should send her to the line for a couple. And Savannah Pelzer are doing a really nice job in this game. That was a headsy play. She stayed with it. This is Providence Academy early as they're sharing the basketball. Greenway to counts. Pelzer. Money in the bank when she has come in. Sand will take a break. Herkenhoff will come in. Herkenhoff is a six-footer, too. So there's plenty of height on both sides. Trying to make it a three-point game right here. Quickly down. Greenway, she's got a two-on-two. -two. Madden will back it up and take that shot. Rolls off. Rebound hauled down by the Huskies. And that's Garrett's. Guarded by Counts. Back out on top. Keski working against Honaker. And now a timeout is called with 3.14 to go in this one. We got a beauty going. And we'll watch Madden Greenway take you to break here on 45 TV. A shout out to some of the members of the crowd that are here watching this one. Supporting their team. <laughs> you know, it's... Oh, it's just a great night having fun. Lifetime memories for 
people in attendance and people out there on the court as well. Hey, a, a nice shout out if we could to the uh, school custodian over at Providence Academy, John uh, Waymer, big supporter of the kids. Love, love, love him. And then uh, along with him, Dewey, their very well loved bus driver. Nice. So. Big lot of you know a lot of parts to these teams, not just the players, right? Oh boy, Kesky oh, man, she about picking apart a defense. Yeah, she can just make it happen. Bailey Kesky, she is a senior. She's sh showing her senior savviness on the court right now. And now we're at two points, and we're under three minutes. Lines cross court, counts to counts. There's that fake, moves it in, and that's a really nice spot for her to be shooting. Yeah, Maria counts is patient as she gets the ball and looks for her best shot. Loves that high post area. She got that little quick fake on the first play, doesn't she? Yeah, kind of moves the defense just enough so she can get her shot off. Huskies, Kesky, kind of eyeing up the situation, trying to figure out what she needs to get done. They'll pass over the other side to Carlson, back to Kesky. Looking down low, is anything there? Good defense. Back out on top. Coming up on two minutes. It's a two-point game. It was a four-point game at halftime. It's been awesome. Kesky trying to make something happen. Kicks it back to Herkenhoff, and she ties it. Or she's two points away from tying the game on that shot. It's a big-time shot right there by Maddie Herkenhoff. Man, is this fun. Well, this has been a good back and forth game. Counts. It's Hope Counts, the 6 2 freshman sister. And there's a foul. She got pushed as she passed the ball. See, was move the ball. Yeah, see how like she takes that little step move to get exactly where she wants to get in that high post position. A minute 33 to go. The lines with the ball. There's no lack of tension in this place right now at Williams Arena. Tomorrow's championship Saturday. Oh my, there was a big uh -oh. rush to that basketball. Counts. That's her spot. Maria counts. They left her alone. The defense went away from her. Very patient on that one. Here come the Huskies. Every time it looks like the Lions are going to pull away, the Huskies come back. Garrett's going to dish it. The defense is just swarming right now as so we're going under a minute in this game. A four point difference. Albany defending champs with the ball. That's going to go sail out of bounds. And that's going to go back to the Providence Academy Lions. You got 52 seconds right now. The ball will be inbounded by Hope Counts. She's looking at Madden Greenway, and now little conversations back and forth. The coaches trying to let their players know what they think. Aaron Boyle and Connor Getz, man, they are doing a great job coaching, too, by the way. Fun to watch both of them strategize against one another. Now you got 48 seconds. Greenway with the basketball being chased. Hope counts back to Madden Greenway and then over to Maria counts Greenway and there's the fall first fall from yep. Pelzer. They still have another one to give Clock down at 35.8 Man we could just Get some energy off of all the heart rate in here somehow <laughs> like a windmill or something you would uh, the people are tense the crowd tense standing up and there's a foul, and that's another one to give. Greenway goes down, but she's all right. Man, oh man, I, if I'm a college recruiter, I'm watching this game, I'm going to see, there's about 10 players in the court I'd, I'm right. interested in. And they're all in the eighth grade. <laughs> yeah, I've got plenty of time, I think. So Greenway now takes it back with 30 seconds to go. Crosses, and they're going to call a fall. A quick one there on. Keski, so that'll send Madden Greenway to the free throw line. That's why it's so important when you have players that can handle the ball, and so you can give someone like Greenway the ball and let her dribble it around, knowing that she's going to get fouled, but she's also not going to turn it over. Oh, Madden. Then play like an eighth grader. 
And, and you got Emma Miller burned next to her, and she's a seventh grader. And Greenway at the free throw line with the huge free throws hits it again. So she's really, she's had a powerful second half. She's at 20 points on the game. One more time, and not going to go. Rebound hauled down by Sand. 24 seconds. Five points is what they need. Oh, my. That's going to go back to Providence Academy. Coaches again talking to their players. So against that pressure, hope counts. <laughs> she's just a freshman, too. And she sees Honecker out there. Honecker's got some time, and she's going to be fall at 17 point. Three on the clock right now. Providence Academy in Albany with a rematch. Honaker just has done such a good job from the start of this game, just defensively kind of setting the tone on the defensive end of the court. It's key for this Providence team. It's not been the line tonight. Doesn't matter. The Lion hits from the line. And more importantly now, this next one is a uh, seven-point difference. Which can be huge, and she got it. That's big. So 17 seconds. Albany's going to push that down in a hurry. They got it in the hands of the right player. And get the shot off. Keski get down to nine, and there's a shot, and that one's rejected. Time up. Coach Boyan says, I'm going to talk some things over here at 55 to 48. The Lions will have the basketball with 6.2. So what is Coach Boyan telling his kids? Well, he's, he's asking them to stay in it until the last minutes, even though there's 6.2 seconds left in this one, that we can do this by following and defense and staying with it. But most importantly, just your willingness to stay in right to the very end. Crowd's been great tonight. Game summary here, Leah. Well, here we go. Back and forth. The Huskies got things rolling earlier down low. Jarrett's had a nice game. Really early came in and was effective. And then was Greenway. The youngins, just so athletic, so good. Gets the position she wants on the three-point line and hit big shots. So a lot of good basketball. Game summary brought to you by the Minnesota Department of Health, protecting, maintaining, and improving the health of all Minnesotans. Uh, we were talking about pressure for Madden Greenway, and uh, Dad certainly had plenty of that when he's playing for the Vikings. But Mom, Jenny, right. I mean, she was a great athlete too. Well, I, I think, you know, whenever I see great athletes, I always look to the mom and see how athletic the mom is, right? Yeah. And, and Jenny's what was a track star, right? Yeah, at Iowa. 55 for the Lions, 48 for Providence. I mean, for Providence, 55. Albany is 48. Four seconds. The three-pointer on the way, and that will not fall. Rebound in the hands of the Lions. They're going to the state title game. What a game it was. Well, that was everything it was built to be. Both teams played outstanding basketball. There's Coach Getz. And the other coaches, the one you don't see right there is uh, the legend, Brian Cosgriff, who's come over and teaches at the school and has helped out Connor. And he said, uh, you know, yeah, it's Connor really found cool. out. There, there's Brian right there. It's cool to see him with that team and the support he's been lending to them. And you know, a shout out to the Huskies. What a great game that they played tonight. And their players just were outstanding. Oh, gosh, great game. Really well played. It's one of the better played games we've seen. There's no doubt about that. Absolutely. Really fun. So there you go, Providence Academy with that 55 to 48 win. It, last year in the state title game, Albany won. And so now, after the rematch, a chance here for them to come back and get it done. Let's head down uh, courtside. Dave Lee here with Leah B. Olson and Madden Greenway joining us on the postgame show. 
Madden, let's talk a little bit about uh, the game plan coming in because you know this team from last year a little bit. And there's a few changes here and there, but what was the game plan? What did uh, Coach Getz say? Oh, well, honestly, we just need to run our sets and make sure they didn't get any boards. And, you know, we struggled with that at the beginning, but once we started to lock down on our defense, I think that it really showed that we just controlled the game after that, and we bounced back after every... After they made a run, you know, we bounced back, didn't let it get to us, and yeah, we stuck to it. Man, it was so fun watching you guys from the very start. You shared the basketball so well, especially early on. You had some great dishes to the Count Sisters. Is that how you guys like to play this game? Yeah, you know, we don't play for ourselves in this in this state. It's just uh, win in advance, and we don't care who has the stats. We just want to go in and win as a team, and I think we did it tonight, and I think it showed. And how will you guys prepare now for the championship game? What's the focus and what's the conversation? You know, just continue to stay sharp, you know, run our sets, make sure we, they, we run what the coaches give us. And whoever wins, you know, just prepare for, scout them and prepare for them and just, yeah, come in and play our best basketball. Matt, thanks for joining us. Go home. you got a quick turnaround. Need some rest there, and we'll yeah. see you tomorrow here. Yeah, thank you so much. That is Madden Greenway of Providence Academy Lines, uh, who uh, lit it up for 20 points here, 21 in that first game. And, they go on to win a really fun game to watch. And we've got more to talk about after this game with Marissa and Chris. So stick around here on 45 TV and a good game coming up next. The tournaments on 45 TV are brought to you by South Dakota State University. Build tomorrow, start today at South Dakota State University. The prime performance of this game brought to you by United Healthcare, dedicated to helping people live healthier lives. For more information, visit UHC.com. We give it to Maria Counts. She had a terrific close to this game. A couple big jumpers, part of her 13-point performance. And really put back it. There were seven lead changes in the first half, none in the second. But boy, Albany was trying. It was a two-point game with a minute 19 left. The Counts gets a look here. Pushes the lead back up to four points at 52-48, and the Lions would not look back as they avenge last year's loss in the state championship game to Albany, winning 55-48. They are going back to the state championship game to play for what would be the program's second state title. Marissa Kate rejoining me here on 45 TV. Maria Counts, pretty good game there with a lot of pressure, and she hit those two buckets late and uh, had those rattled out. Albany comes out and score. We could be having a different conversation. She's just so calm and collected, right? Her, the entire time, she never looked rattled, and she does all the little things for Providence Academy that you don't necessarily, necessarily see on the stat sheet. And we heard from Madden Greenway after, by the way, incredible poise in that post-game interview for an eighth grader. She did not have a great offensively anyway first half was fantastic in the second half. What I loved about her, especially as an eighth grader, is she let the game come to her. She only had four points at the half, and she came out in the second half. She had some assists to her team, and she just kind of let the game come to her, and then she came alive. All right, speaking of Madden Greenway, let's take a look at the plays of the game prominently featured in this one, the play of the game, plays of the game, brought to you by Minnesota Rusco since 1955. She's going to be a fan. She is a fantastic basketball player and is only going to get better, Marissa. I think we are all so excited to see what she can do over the next couple of years here. And again, she's just going to continue to get stronger, faster, work on her game. But she's already so much fun to watch. She had 20 points. Maria counts 13. Grace counts 12. They had 45 of Providence Academy's 55 points and can distribute down low, waiting. They find Greenway. I mean, that's just a great ball fake. It is great ball movement movement for Providence Academy, and Albany just couldn't quite get that handle on Greenway's game. We talked about it a little bit before the game and then again at halftime, but this is a team that lost in the championship game. That can drive a team, and it was pretty clear they kept their focus there toward the tail end of that second half as they held Albany off. I think if we were in Providence Academy's weight room and gym this summer, that last year's loss to Albany was probably something that was brought up quite a bit as motivation for this season. We said Albany probably was going to shoot better in the second half. They did in the first. They did, but it was not enough to overcome a great effort by Providence Academy that included 14 steals and a total of 20 forced turnovers. The stats brought to you by Everlight Solar. Save money, save the planet, start with solar. Last thoughts on this from Marissa before we head to the second double-A semifinal. You know, I think Providence Academy stuck with their game plan. You hear, or you heard Matt and Greenway say that. They didn't, they didn't venture away from anything. They just stayed calm and they got the victory.
Just a fantastic performance by Providence Academy. They led by four at halftime. Albany kept trying to come back, but they held them off. We can't say much more about Madden Green, but the Count sisters, Maria and Grace, it's just such great synergy between those three players and their starting five. It is. You can tell that this team really enjoys playing together, and again, they share the basketball so well. They play so unselfish. And credit to Albany. They had a fantastic season. They go home 24-6. and six. They come up just one game short of getting back to the championship game, which they won last year. Keelan Garrett's led them with 13 points. So who are they going to play in the AA final? We're going to find out next. Fergus Falls and Minnehaha Academy in the next AA semi, our last semifinal here on 45 TV. It's coming up after this short break.